This patient was referred to me on tooth number 29 with a defect. And if you look closely, this is a classical external cervical resorptive defect. And as we do the 3D limited fill of view bone rending, we can see on the buccal aspect there's nothing present. But as we rotate it to the lingual, look at that defect. And if you look really closely, you can see the pulp present. And external cervical resorption will not involve the pulp. It does not degrade non-mineralized tissue. So a lot of times these pulps are vital and these patients are asymptomatic. So as we look at this case, even closely here on the 3D rending, almost look like decay, just a cavity there, but it's not. If you approach this just with a restoration, it will continue to get larger and larger. And unfortunately, this case, the defect is above the bone level. So we would have to do endo in this case, lay a flap, and probably do a little crown lengthening on that lingual aspect and restore it with either Gerastore or a composite. And look at this axial slice here. So you can see the pulp um, getting really close to that defect. This is a class two lesion. And this case success rate is about 77% according to Hitherson. I'll talk more about that in my textbook.